Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa, and welcome to episode 21 of the World Tour at Sport Boys in Peru. And today we have two big games. We wrap up the Libertadores campaign. We're going out of the Libertadores, but if we can match and or will match and not contend by negative one goal of uh, Atletico, uh, what are they called? Atletico Nacional's uh, result, we will parachute down into the Copa Sudamericana. And then we have the first leg of the Torneo final against our big rivals, Sporting Crystal. Uh, we're away from home first leg. We did get to choose. I chose to play away, so we have the second leg at home. Um... So big, big games coming up here. Now, this is what's happened since last episode. Just the one game since we did beat Atletico Nacional in the Libertadores. And it was, well, it was very much a change team. Uh, we gave a few debuts out here. Uh, Miguel Martinez with two really good goals got the win for us. It was, it was a relatively even game. We did well, although we were second best, I think. i tell you who played well, Ramos here. Our young 17-year-old goalkeeper. We gave him his debut and he was absolutely amazing. Um, definitely a selling us in the making there. Um... But otherwise, you know, it was a decent enough performance, as you can see. It's not the usual team. I think it was this kid's debut as well, another one of our young midfielders. Uh, he's coming along nicely. Any other debuts that we gave out there? We gave our left winger a start, our young left winger. He did fine. He's a potential. You'll see the potential of these guys. These are guys that, if we do, if we do end up staying, these are sort of the guys that could maybe lift us onto a Libertadores uh, title. But, yeah, it's how long do we want to wait, as I said last episode. Uh, I'm actually recording this before that ep last episode goes out, so if you've given me feedback on what you think we should do for our future, uh, I apologise, I, ha I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Um, Alright, let's not waste any time, let's have a quick look at the league tables, you can see there's the, the Torneo thing, but this is where we stand, we are uh, three goal better off uh, than Atletico Nacional, so we actually could, we can stand to lose by two goals more than they lose by if, if, if both teams lose, but... Talarez gave us a bit of a touch-up in the first game. We went defensive against them, and I really it was our worst performance so far. So we're going for them this time, as we would go any other team. Uh, so it's Salinas in goal, Cafarata, uh, Zubiata, Emerson, and Andio as a back four. Tassio in the anchor man role, uh, Liate and Goivin in midfield. Fry, he's got a bit of a tight muscle in his leg. I think it was a thigh. Um, you can see he's fine. He'll, he'll come through. And if he doesn't, we have uh, Blasido on the bench there. And we go with our big two. It's Galindo and Vega. Now, they haven't played well at the same time. Hopefully, they'll, they'll do that this game. Now, there will be a goals of the month at the end of this episode for that this epic month of April that we've been in. Um, I was just looking. Vega's actually only scored one goal. It just happened to be an absolute worldie uh, against Sao Paulo. Uh, what do we say to this? Just a calm... Something calm here, perhaps. Um... Do we want to... You know what? I think we actually want to go for a revenge, don't we? Um, let's get a bit of passion going there. That's fired him up. Um, yeah, I think we really... I mean, it's not necessarily the player's fault. I went really defensive when we played them last time. And to be honest, I regret that now. Because when we went more for Sao Paulo, who is arguably a better team, although they're joint points uh, coming into this, um, you know, we, we could... On other days, we could easily have beaten Sao Paulo uh, two times. So now that they're at our place... Um, I think we've learned a little bit more about the Copa Libertadores, where we stand, that we can kind of compete, um, albeit, you know, not necessarily on completely level terms. That's a bit of a mess up, and we're 1-0 down. Uh, the ball out there to, I think it was Cafeteria, and just lost out, didn't he? Just, just lost out. Uh, maybe a little bit passive, didn't quite come for the ball, and then we just couldn't recover, could we? Uh, I do think one area we do need to look to strengthen is is left back for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, because Cosio is getting on a little bit now. Um, so, I mean, he's not going to be around forever and certainly not to get up and down the wing. Uh, I think he could maybe have a, a, a prolonged future with us as a centre back, to be honest. Um, but he's not, he's not going to get up and down that wing. And I just don't, I think Cafarata is okay sort of domestically as a backup perhaps, but I don't, he's not a good enough, he's not good enough for this level. Um, we can see his attributes here. He's okay physically, but he's just, he's just not technically good enough. All right, it's just going to be a highlight. Ball comes in, Fry, oh, I missed header and we couldn't quite capitalize and are we going to get counter-attacked here? No, Emerson's going to pick that up. Can we launch and go again here? It'd be great to get equal before half time when the ball comes in, Vega headed down, Andia picks that up. Can he get across into the box? He can, it's headed away for going down! Oh, one, one, he's not offside as he has a habit of being in the Libertadores this year. Sixth goal of the year for him, and we've capitalized on a Talarez mistake. 
Excellent stuff. We gave them a goal and they just assisted us right back here. Decent ball in. Vegas done well to challenge there. And yeah, with a good cross in, to be fair. I think that was a good ball in. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. He sort of headed it out of the goalkeeper's hands almost. It wasn't a good header. And Galindo's there with a good first-time finish. Under pressure as well from the defender. 1-1. Can we go and take the lead now before half-time? Galindo goes back for Cafaretta. In for Goyven. For Latte. For Tassio. This is a nice little bit of possession. Fry. Fry turns. Space to run into. Goes out wide for Andy. Can he square it back in? Vegas there. Vegas there! 2-1! We've turned it around in a matter of minutes. Vega has his second of the year. Andy looks a world beater. And suddenly, this is more like it. Uh, let's give it a concentrate shout. Because we have scored twice. We don't want to be caught celebrating here. Good ball for Andy. Andy a cracking cross in. And Vega's done really well to nod in at the near post. That's not an easy goal to score. And he has made that look easy. Um, all right. Let's get into half time here, boys. We've moved up to third. Um, that possibly means that the other game right now is a draw. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's offside. It's okay. Everybody relax. Lionsman's flags up. Um, is Atletico Nashi now actually beating Sao Paulo? That would be annoying, wouldn't it? Um, was it offside? Oh, I tell you what, it's marginal. It's marginal. Um, we've maybe got one back there. We have had a couple of dodgy offside positions, but we've maybe got one back there. Uh, the other game, it, it, Atletico Nashi now are winning. What is Sao Paulo doing? They're trying. They're killing us. You're absolutely killing us, Sao Paulo. Um, they've done absolutely nothing this game. I'm going to say, uh, what do I say? I'm going to say I'm not happy again. Um, the match ratings, the match ratings aren't good. So we'll go with that. Um, hopefully we'll fire up the boys and we'll send them back out there. And can we get another win? Oh, can you imagine if we if if Atletico Nacional beats Sao Paulo and we still go out of South American football altogether? Um, all right, come on, Andy. Up. Let's get a good ball in here. Emerson! Oh, it's not a goal from Emerson. It's a goal for Galindo. He's second of the game. But that's an Emerson goal, isn't it? An absolutely powering header. He only gets an assist for that, which is a crime. An absolute crime. But Andy with a nice ball in. And look at this from Emerson. Towering header. And Galindo, it wasn't going in anyway. It was probably going just past the post, to be fair. Um, so he's, he's done the right thing, knocking it in. But 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Maybe, maybe we can do something for this team. Maybe we can. Let's give him a little bit of praise. Uh, we've certainly got better, haven't we? The longer that this tournament's gone on, <clears throat> the, the, this may be the caveat of this game in that they've already qualified. We've already been eliminated. So, you know, maybe it's not, they're not the most motivated that they could be. Um, that's a decent ball. We need to defend well here. Can we get a kick in there? Cafaretta's done well there. Vegas tracking back. We've held them up, but they do still have the ball. The highlight continues and I start to get nervous. These long highlights tend to not end well for one team. That's a good block there. All right, go Fry. Go on, Fry. He's surrounded. He's done really, really well to keep the ball there. Well done, Vasco Fry. Liate back in for Fry. Can he pick a pass? He's got a little bit of space to run into there. He drives the ball out wide. That's a cracking pass for Cafaretta. Can he get across in now? Cafaretta back post. Vega! We're absolutely destroying them. We're destroying them. It's 4-1. Vega now has three goals. He's got a double as well. Both our strikers doubling up. And that was actually quite a good goal, wasn't it? One side of the field to the other. Fry with a cracking ball. Caparata with an amazing cross. And Vega, no mistake, on the volley. No keeper in the world saving that. Maybe one. Maybe one would have locked into it. Itchy nose. Um, all right, come on, boys. Let's keep our concentration here. This is... Oh, it's a terrible ball in. We've maybe just given them a chance there, Tassio. You could just let it run out. Ball goes out wide again. Too much space out there. We're not looking the best, are we? That's fallen, though. It's ricocheted our way again. We're getting a little bit of luck, finally, in this competition. Goyven, drive it out wide. He's gone the other side out for Cafaretta. I've said he's rubbish. He's actually having a really good game. Ball comes in. He's headed again. It's over the bar from Liete. Was that a good chance for him to get his first goal for the club? Look at these match ratings. Look at those. And we went behind in this game, and I thought we were going to be in for a tough day. And we've absolutely smashed them. Um, let's look at subs. Fry has got a bit of an injury, as I said, coming into the game. Let's maybe not risk that any more than we have to. Let's bring, uh, Blasido on. Um, Goyven's not having his best game, but I don't want to change too much here, because, you know, we are doing really well. Um, we don't need to risk anything here at this point. 
anybody else we want to give a game to. Here's another corner. Andy knocks it in. Emerson! No, oh, it's off the post. Could somebody have tapped that in? Emerson deserves a goal for what he's done from corners. He's, he's I mean, that's the second one now, isn't it? That he's won quite comfortably. Uh, and perhaps a little bit unlucky. Kafarat is looking tired. We don't have another left back in our Libertadores squad because uh, Cosio is injured. We'll just keep praising them. And this has been... This has renewed my faith that maybe we can do something in the Libertadores with Sport Boys. We're getting better and better as the new players. Joel Galindo is offside. Oh, robbed of a hat-trick. It did look offside, to be fair. We'll have a look. I don't think I have any complaints about this one, though. Yeah, he's just, just straight a split second early. Good finish again, though, wasn't it? Another good finish, but... 4-1, yeah, we'll forgive him, won't we? That's all fine. All's forgiven today. Oh, we've pounced again. Liate this time. We're making them look like absolute clowns. Can he get a square ball in? Can he get a square ball in? He's gone back for Kafarata, and that's not the best cross. We've entered stoppage time. The good news here is we are going to win the game. I mean, they're not going to score three goals in two minutes, surely. Um, that would be <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? So, I mean, if you look at this table, we are going to... I mean, unless Atletico Nacional have beaten Sporting 6-1 or 5-0, in which case you've just got to say it's not meant to happen. Um, decent save from Salinas. And a good block as well. Look at that fighting to the end. Excellent stuff. This is the sports boys we fell in love with at the end of last year, wasn't it? Just never give up. Relentless on the attack. Solid at the back. Excellent, excellent stuff. Let's not do anything stupid here, Salinas. Um, lumps it downfield. Nice and early. The higher tempo is really, really working, isn't it? Um, it makes you wonder. You know, you think the 89th minute goal that Sao Paulo scored to beat us. If we had that point now, if Sao Paulo lost their two... Um, you know, we'd have, what, eight points? It's a good finish. It's a good finish. Um, we'd have eight points. They'd have, they'd be two less. So if they were to lose this game, they'd have nine. How different it could, I mean, yes, you, you look at it that way, they could still have gone out. Um, they'd, they'd lose two points, wouldn't they? So they'd be on eight as well. We'd come down to goal difference, and we might well have, we might well have done them. Um, you know, if we'd won the game at home, it's always if, buts, and maybes. But, you know, if we win that game at home against Atletico Nacional... Um, you know, that's that's two points, arguably, we've dropped that we shouldn't have. Um, it could have been so, so different with a little bit of luck going our way. So many offside goals ruled out as well. Uh, Leate! Oh, he's hit the post! Is he ever going to score his first goal for the... I know he did score a goal. I think it was in pre-season, though. Um, yeah, but that's okay. That, blow it up here now, Raph. Anytime you're ready, this game is done. We'd rather, rather they didn't score again, to be honest, just in case goal difference is going to make a difference here in any way. But we had two goals up on... Oof. There it is! There it is! That's a really, really good win. It's a positive way to end the, our Copa Libertadores campaign. Uh, always disappointing, obviously, to go out. But, uh, yeah, don't let it go to your heads, boys. Oof. Well, let it go to your heads a little bit, maybe. But look at that. Atletico Nacional, they did beat Sao Paulo in Brazil. If we had not won that game, we wouldn't have come third. Um, so that is needless to say a massive result. Oh, that I would have been so annoyed. I thought I thought we'd done it last episode. We've been knocked out there. We do enter the the second round of the Libertadores. There's a draw coming up for that shortly. Do we have any sense of who we could get uh, in this? It's the I'm assuming Total, the uh, the fuel manufacturer, not Total. <laughs> uh, it's a Total Sudamericana. Um, so that's the first round. So the teams that are in this. I mean, it's just Brazil, Argentina, isn't it? Is that... I'm not sure where they're from. Is that... I wonder if that's uh, the Colombian team. I'm assuming that that is Uruguay and Uruguay and Brazil. There's uh, Chilean, Paraguay. They're Paraguay as well, I think. Brazil, Brazil. Argentina, Uruguay. Although we just say we beat Liverpool from England, won't we? Brazil as well. So, there's still big teams in this, isn't there? Um, do we have any sense of money we'll be getting for the second round? Round appearance money. 192 grand. That's nothing to sneeze at, is it? Um, that will all definitely help the finances. Um, I did I did ask the board for something. What did I ask the board for? Um, I can't remember now. We improved the data analysis facilities. I think I did ask them for something and they said no. Um, 
anyway, anyway, let's not uh, waste time here, guys. Wait right there. We'll be back. It's the first leg of the Torneo final against our big rivals. All right, so we actually have the draw for the Sudamericana coming up right now. It was the very next morning game time. Um, so let's have a look at this. Who can we get? Is it an open draw? It looks like it is an open draw. Um, I mean, you just want to try and avoid, if you can, a Brazilian or Argentine club. Really, Although, you know, we've, we just smashed an Argentine club, so maybe there's nothing to be fearful of there. Um, yeah, I don't really know who we want, to be honest, because... Who knows? Who knows? You probably want to be away from home first. We take a Paraguayan team, wouldn't we? We don't get them. Um, Argentina. I'd rather not get San Lorenzo, and we don't. I'd rather not get Tigre, and we don't. I tell you what, in the more, more Argentine and Brazilian teams that get drawn against each other, that's a good thing for us as well, isn't it? If we are going to go a long way, take a Bolivian team. Maybe don't get them either. I take Nashian now. There's probably worse ones. They get an Ecuador club. We don't really want Fluminense. I mean, that's Flamengo, I should say. We don't get them. Come on, Deportivo Lara. We'll take that. They go to Liverpool. we we'll take a Chilean team if we can get it. We don't. Another Chilean team. Oh, what's happened there? They've bumped it around. So you can't get a team from the same country because something happened there. Lima, so we can't get them. They've got a Chile team. Oh, it's getting. Well, when are we going to get drawn out? Let's not get an Argentine club. Another Brazilian team. Don't want Bari up. Lanouche get them. Excellent stuff. It's coming down to it. I don't want Independiente, please. They get a Brazilian team. Who are we going to get? Here we go. Who are we going to get? We get Wanderers of Uruguay. I tell you what, I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. A Uruguayan team that isn't Nacional or Penarol. Um, that's almost as good as it gets for us, isn't it? Um, I do have one guy here we're looking at. Um, but yeah, I tell you what, that is... There's no real point looking at them because we're not going to be able to see too much about them at this point, are we? Let's have a look at the schedule. Who have they Who have they played so far? They've knocked out Union Harrell. So they've knocked, we, we know they're a little bit rubbish. And they've only just, well, they've beat them quite comfortably at home and they've got to draw away. So I don't know that there's too much to fear there necessarily. I feel like we've beaten better teams already, haven't we, in the, in the Libertadores. So let me know what you think in the comments. I think... I think that's quite doable. All right, let's get on to this Sporting Cristal final. Okay, welcome back. It is time for the first leg of the Torneo de Venejo final against our big rubs, as I said, Sporting Cristal. You can see we are favourites despite being away from home, which is perhaps a little bit surprising, um, but just shows sort of how good we are, how far we've come since we first took over here. Let's have a quick look at the team that we're sending out uh, if the game would like to go to that screen. Any second now, thank you, game. Uh, and this is it. It's a pretty much the same team, to be honest. It's uh, Salonas in goal. It's Caparata, Zubiata, Emerson, and Andia. It's Tassio as the anchor man. Liate and Goivin in midfield. Fry in behind uh, Galindo, who is, of course, playing his former team, the team that we bought him from. And uh, Vega as well. Hopefully, they'll continue some, uh, some goal-scoring form. Shorter bench uh, for this game, I didn't realize. So we had to take off uh, Bacardo and Martinez, I think it was. We put Castro in, so we had a striker in there. Um, but we can see the way they're lining up. Um, sort of, at this point, we just we play the way we play, to be honest. Um, we'll get a little bit of passion. Shall we need to keep our run going? Um, I'm wondering if it's a game, if it's a bigger game. Is there just to go out there, carry straight on, he left off? Yeah. Come on, let's keep our run going. Calm, we have faith. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get out there. I mean, the, the reason that this is a big game for us, it doesn't really matter if we win this Tornio thing or not in the grand scheme of things, but if you do win it, you're straight away into the championship playoffs at the end of the season, uh, which is what we won last year. And that, of course, means we are one win away again from, from getting into the Libertadores for next season. So it takes a lot of pressure off... Um, sort of the remaining of the uh, of the, the movie star thing. What that would allow us to do then is to sort of play our first choice team in the Sudamericana, uh, and then we can play sort of reserves in the league and know that we're already in the championship playoff. Um, so hopefully we'll be... A, that's, that's kind of why I'd like to, to, to win this. Uh, if we can, that's not a good start, though. Poor defending from the set piece. And I'd already just given out a shout of Get Creative as well, which doesn't help things. Um, in terms of training, we it's, we haven't really done much training because we've had uh, sort of midweek games with the Sudamericans. The decent header away there from Emerson. Uh, we just we just didn't pick him up, did we? Could Salinas have done better there, perhaps, as well? Um, all right, can we get straight back into this game? It's hacked clear. Are we going to get to that? It might be going to run out. He'll do well to keep that in. He did do well to keep that in. Um... 
And we are looking distinctly second best here. Distinctly second best. Man around. Oh, we've all gone to the ball. Not the start we wanted, is it? Not the start we wanted. I do wonder if I messed up the build up to this a little bit. Try maybe talked us up a little bit too much. Um, yeah, then I maybe should have said as a team talk, go out there and just and win, um, which is kind of what I said. But not a good way to start this game. Two 0 down already. We haven't. We've had a shot at goal now. We've barely kicked the ball. Um, hopefully we can. We have what uh, a game and a half almost. Game and two thirds to get ourselves back into this. So no need to panic just yet. But that ha that it hasn't been a good start, has it? Um, yeah. Sort of reflecting on the Sudamericana draw, I've got to say, I do like that there's a lot of Brazil and Argentine clubs that have drawn each other. The downside to that, oh, I thought they were going to score again, is that there's still there's a lot of Brazilian and Argentine clubs in there, isn't there? So um, we definitely have our work cut out. But I think Calares showed us we don't really have anything necessarily we need to fear. Um, we are, you know, we're capable. We're capable of beating teams, um, which is not what we're showing here whatsoever. That has been an absolutely disgusting half of football. Um, they haven't played that well either, which is almost the worst thing, isn't it? But, yeah, we have come out, we've looked complacent, we've looked shocking. I expect to see something completely different in the second half. Um, do we look to change anything tactically? I think I think we will just pour. Well, let's be a little bit more expressive. Um, I wonder if we perhaps, not playing in South America, if we just lower this tempo a little bit. Um, see if that makes a difference. If We can always put the tempo back up, can't we? But I just wonder if we're not. I don't know what we're. I don't know what we're not doing, but we're not doing something, are we? Uh, come on, boys, let's get creative. And we might have to look at subs here, but we've got only got the short bench, so we don't even have that many options in terms of changing things. Let's go attacking. Um, let's maybe not exploit the flanks, perhaps. But shorter the pass. Let's raise this tempo again. I. I I feel like we have been playing well with the with the tempo. Let's try maybe just a good old fashioned encourage. That hasn't worked. Um, all right, let's bring Castro on for Galindo. Uh, he can play as a poacher. Let's try him as a poacher. He's not really a target man either. He just he was playing well as a target man. He can, he's a good decent header of the ball. Uh, he was playing well as a target man with um, with Vega, wasn't he? But uh, what do we do here? What do we do? I'm looking at my bench, and I'm not seeing anything there. I don't have any attacking options. I didn't expect us to be this poor. Uh, we'll give it a demand more. If we could if one goal, then we you know, we win one nil at home. That's you know that could be. We just need to get into. We need to get something, don't we? Oh, and that's not something. It's offside though. We've got away with that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know where this has come from. They're all offside. No complaints there. Um, come on, boys. Come on. Let's get something. Let's just get something. Go even, we're just standing and waiting for the ball, aren't we? Tassio has picked it up though. Liate, what can he do? He's been a little bit disappointing so far as a signing, but I'm willing to give him time to settle in. Here goes Andy up. Can he get a ball into the box? He can. It's headed away, though. It's going to be picked up by Fry down for Goyven. Oh! We've seen him score some special goals, and that was almost right up there with the best of anything he's scored. Um, I'm wondering if we might need to get stuck in here as well. Um, higher line, compacted up. They're a passing team, so we'll try that. Oh, we do, as I said, if we can get a goal back, 2-1. Uh, if we can get out of here at 2-1, I'd, I'd take it right now, this very second. But we're more like, we're looking more likely to concede a third than we are to score one, aren't we? Pochettino, nice to see he's made a comeback after his Spurs coaching career. All right, Salinas, come on. Let's build from the back here. This is becoming a longish highlight, so as long as we keep possession, I start to think maybe there's a goal here for us. Come on, Fry. Fry drives it ahead early for Vega. Go on, Vega. Vega! He's back! He's back! He's back! That is now 2-1. That's his fourth goal of the year, his third goal of the episode. And what a cracking pass from Vasco Fry. 
picked him out nice and early. We, we know that Vega, if, if the ball's over over the heads of the defenders, he's going to run anything down. There's no defender in the world that's getting there ahead of him. And he's got to finish back as well. A good finish across the goalkeeper. Um, I forget what changes I made, but yeah, let's go ahead with them. I made them for a reason. Uh, come on, boys. Demand more. That's focused on. Can we can we dare dream of an equalising goal here? I don't think we deserve it. Oh, we don't deserve... Don't do this to me, though. Oh, it's off the post. It's off the post. And this is probably it. Uh, is that the wrong end? That makes me a little bit nervous. Kafarata hacks that clear. This will now be it. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. I think we're lucky to get out of this at 2-1. We go home now. We win at home. And... Oh, you know, if we win by one, it'll go to extra time. If we win by two or more, we will be Tornio champions. Castro's probably got himself a booking there. That's kind of needless and silly. Uh, what is needless and silly, though, is this extra time referee. Let's just blow it up. I'm sure we're both happy with how things are. They're happy they've won. We're happy we haven't been smashed. And we live to fight another day. We do live to fight another day. So that'll be tomorrow, guys. We will do the second leg. <clears throat> uh, but that was just not good enough, was it? I'm not happy with that. We were definitely better second half. Uh, and they did score two goals in two minutes or something, wasn't it? So it was just sort of a couple of minutes of madness there. But yeah, that wasn't that wasn't how we wanted to end things up, was it? Anyway, guys, that is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure you ring the bell and subscribe so you know when I upload new episodes. And we'll be back tomorrow for the second leg. Can we overturn that deficit? We can't play any worse, can we? The fact we're only a goal down, I'm relatively, I'm relatively confident. Um, but you can never be too confident. And then... As long as there's no the, the league, I'm not sure when the league's going to start. Can we have a look when it started last year? Uh, it started it started mid May, so we'll either come back for what well, you know what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow for for the first leg of the of the Sudamericana as well, unless the opening game in the in the league fixture is like a a, a, a Lima or, or a, you know someone like one of our big rivals. Um, that's what we'll do, but we'll definitely do the second leg tomorrow and possibly more than likely the first leg of the Sudamericana second round as well. Um, so that's all for today. I've been Aussie Bill. Thank you so much for watching and here are some of our best goals from April. Take care.